Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. I'm the captain. Welcome to 2019 in Guildford and Andertons. It certainly is. We've time travelled four months into the future. Yes. Um, With Gibson, anything's possible. Lee. Absolutely. So, Gibson, got some big news. Have we? Uh, well, only that uh, after a turbulent summer of Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and everything like that, it would appear that they've come out the other side there, leaner, meaner, less... Ding dong, they're back yeah. without Henry. Yeah, I believe he's uh, taking some leave and perhaps uh, taking a more of a backseat role within the business now. Don't know who the new CEO is going to be at the time oh, so of filming this. so he's still in the business? He is, I think, saying that he may come back in a sort of a consultancy capacity. Should we take a look at the new 2019 range from Gibson? I think we should. Now, uh, I think it's fair to say that what's happened with the 20, uh, with the Gibson USA range since probably 2017 is Gibson have gone, you know what? People don't really like us making massive changes to the guitars. They like them for what they kind of were as classic guitars. So I think the, the range change from 2018 to 2019 is pretty soft. Um, they kept most of the good stuff, made one or two tweaks to a couple of models that weren't very popular. Immediately, as soon as you strike eyes upon this, I'm calling it tuna fade, because it's seafoam green, see what I did there? Yeah. Um, you will just want to pick it up and play it and be all sparkly and lovely with its beautiful, beautiful looks. See-through knobs, they're not hiding anything now. No. Nothing to hide. It's a new world for Gibson and they've got Look at this cool nut. Well, this is so. High this is the high performance. This is the only uh, model now in the range that has the high performance spec. But other than just, just remembering the smell the of the smell, high performance. The smell of I have love. to record it when I'm blindfolded at some point. So the general consensus on the 2018 range was that the body-mounted pickups weren't a massive hit for uh, Gibson. Uh, so on the 2019 range, they've gone back to a, a traditional pickup ring. The stuff that has stayed the same though is the HP model now has the slightly wider neck. It has the all-access uh, heel, heel joint, joint. Uh, it still has, has locking machine heads, so there's there's no robot tuners now and in the myriad, whole 2019 range. I'm going to be careful with the headstock yep. in case I kill someone. Myriad of switching and dip functions and all sorts of high performance circuitry. Yep, you've got the zero nut, the titanium zero nut, uh, so it's kind of like it's the it's the all the bells and whistles on one Les Paul and probably the most contemporary kind of colour choices. So that's the 2019 uh, Les Paul Standard High Performance. So if you want a non-HP version, uh, this is the Les Paul Standard. So you've still got the same pickup switching that you have in the HP, but other than that, everything else is very traditional. So Can I also say that you could also just not use the switching and dip switches and switching? Because I, I have seen a little bit of negativity oh. online from people saying, I, if I, I just want a Les Paul Standard, I don't want so switches and dips and things. I, I sat through a very painful 10 minute YouTube rant of a guy basically going, why do they do this and why can't it be just to have the, like, I don't want coil taps and I don't want locking machine and I don't want all that. And like, it was a proper rant who then failed to mention at the end of the video that actually that is just the Les Paul traditional then. Right, well, you know, this like, is exactly I where I was really going. I don't really understand this why people get so upset. Absolutely. This is exactly where I was going. Either get this and don't use the switches and dips mm. or buy the traditional. So the, the, I do sort of get that for, how long have Les Paul been on the market now? Nearly 70 years, 65 something years. Yeah, yeah. Um, for most of that 65 years, the Les Paul standard was a was a guitar that didn't have loads and loads of bits and bobs on but it. But surely more do, is more. I do get that. But the, the, the vibe from Gibson in the last six or seven years has been that the standard is the model that they will try and put the new features on yeah. and innovate and stuff like that. And you know what? That's what Les Paul would have wanted. Yeah. hundred percent for sure. Yeah. So, you, you know, th that's the standard. If, however, when you say the word Les Paul standard, yeah. what you actually think is a guitar that is heavy, oh, yeah. so no weight relief on there, has a three-way switch, that's it. Just, you know, none of these do anything. Regular neck profile. Clusen style vintage machine. You know, if that's yeah. what your mind conjures up when you think of a great Les Paul, then what you want 
is the Les Paul traditional. And in a way, I just get one of these and then get your bell-shaped truss rod cover that says yeah, standard. standard <laughs> and then you've got a Les Paul standard. That's a good because, shout. Because I really, how that's, that what, is. that's what this is in yeah. a way. Yeah. And you know what? It's such a it's a funny thing how much the weight makes you feel like it's a Les Paul standard. Yeah, I mean, some people, if it, you know, if you haven't got, you know, if you're not almost crippled by the guitar after two hours of playing with it, for some people they feel like it's not a proper Les Paul. Hey. It is what it is. So that's the traditional. By the way, that um, feels great. I agree. So we'll have a little noodle on that in a bit as well. So last year, the classic had the P90s on it. And I'll be totally honest with you, it probably was the worst received. Really? Uh, and probably has the biggest discounts on it for the outgoing 2018 models. Wow. So the classic now in the 2019 range has gone back to pretty much, do you remember when you used to see, a, and they used to have like 1960 classic? Yeah, kind yeah, of, yeah. It's kind of gone back to that. Zebras. So, so it's um, it's a non, I think, I think they're all solid colors or certainly, you know, uh, more affordable colors. The open pickups on here, it has got funky pickup switching on it so we'll have to little plug that in and find out what that does later and do you know what they're using for fretboard wood it's all rosewood so right. it's, it's all a CITES problem oh <laughs> but there oh, you go right. okay um but it's a CITES problem <laughs> for us and gibson i was about um, to say wow this really looks like rosewood it yeah, is it is still all rosewood on this on, on everything basically okay um so that's the classic um then you're down to the studio oh yeah. look at this one so you've got the studio uh, tribute, but so the studio gloss body, plain top, bound neck. Uh, oh, we've still got we've still got a couple of by the looks things coil taps on here. So again, we'll have a little fiddle with those. This one hasn't got any coil taps, but it looks immense. Yeah, you've got the tribute. That's going to be the most affordable, like Les Paul with an arch top in the 2019 range. Uh, complete like a, a satin finish all for, over, for no binding dots. Yep. And then uh, the one below that, where we'll just ping something on the screen now, uh, but ha is already sold out. So whatever our first month's allocation one's all gone already, is the double cut. So they're doing a slab-bodied double cut called the Les Paul Tribute DC. That's going to be a 699 guitar. Um, anyway, pictures on screen now. We'll have to review that another day because it's sold out already. Anyway, should we take some of these and head back? Wait, are those 2019s as well, Lee? Yep, so you've got 2019 also has SGs, it has Vs, it has Explorers, it has Firebirds. Uh, but that's a whole other video you know to see. So let's take a look at the new Gibson 2019 USA range. to be can't read twice that would be bad so in order not to make this video three hours long rob and i are oh. going to whiz through uh the guitars you'll hear some tones and some jams i'm not going to go too deep into specs but we are going to kind of just give like a, an instant reaction to what we think of them i should at this point uh point out 
that uh, the wonderfully talented Danish Pete over on the Andertons website has done a playthrough video of each guitar in the 2019 Les Paul lineup. He got and his dirty Danish paws yeah, on them real quick, didn't he? And there's <gasps> it's, it's a, there's specs and more demos of like what every single thing does on those, so you might want to go and watch those. So this is really like me and Rob going, oh yeah, I can see what the angle with this is or that is. Tones wise, jams. Well, you usual. know what the angle on this one is? What's the angle? It's a Les Paul Lee. Whoa, you're kidding no, me. No, it does this sound. <laughs> suggest that's the guitar so if you want a les paul standard that's like it was back in the sort of you know like the 70s 80s 90s or whatever it's this one that's what you want and if it really upsets you that it says traditional hit take it off i love rob's suggestion jump on ebay <laughs> jump on ebay search for gibson truss rod cover find one that says whatever word you'd rather it said there yeah. put it on and you've got what you want yeah you got what um, you want it's um really well, nice to play really heavy easy to, uh, yeah but Chunky, reassuringly so reassuringly heavy like my mid waist <laughs> area um i feel like the pickups are a little tiny bit less hot mm. and a little tiny bit brighter which is great for recording because yeah. that's kind of what you want um i feel like it for some reason i don't know whether they've changed lots of things or nothing but it feels a bit easier to play it's just plex setup uh we qc them all before they come through so hopefully you know we've done our job great guitar Les Paul traditional, a couple of different colours or a few different colours, uh, beautiful case with it as well. Lovely, 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 lovely. really like that. None of, this, um, none of this pulls out, there are no, no switches no in the pull back. triggery. It's one switch here. That's it. That's all you Which, get. to be honest with you, if that's your thing, then that's your thing. So I guess going completely the other end of the scale, I've grabbed the standard HP. Um, Lovecraft. Let's just, give it, let's just give it a pass. <laughs> You might want to. <laughs> There's a big difference between the two. The back pickup's got way pokier output. Maybe it's easier to hear that on a clean tone than it, but. Uh, feels like a lot more. So, this does not. This feels like a modern Les Paul. So, the neck's thinner, the body's lighter, the heel joint doesn't exist. Uh, fretboards <laughs> a bit wider. Um, so, do you know if the frets are nickel still or, or steel? That, what's the thing? Cryogenically, cryogenically frozen, frozen baked frozen. beans or something? But yeah. they're they're whatever they're like the super long lasting cryogenically ones are. Um, lots of switching here. So again, watch the Pete Hanore video if you want to see that. But nice clean tones. <laughs> So all your more like thinner, strattier kind of vibey tones there. But you know, still when it counts, does what it does. <laughs> Come on. 
Funky. That's we'll great. come back to that. The, you get the slightly crazier colours on the HP uh, guitars, um, but it's pretty. I mean, what did we say this one was I'm called? I'm calling this one Tuna Fade. Tuna Fade. Because it's something seafoam like sea green foam fade. Yeah, fade or something, but isn't it? But it's not green, it's blue. Ooh. It's the one that I immediately wanted to pick up and abuse, uh, leading me on to the one I've got here, which is a classic. Classic. Beautiful gold top sporting the zebras. Nothing zebras. in the back to Like a switch. safari, like a golden safari. But it's a golden safari of, of switching jaw on the front. <laughs> See that, how accurate that was? And um, I've just tuned it for you so you can hear how it does its A. I was going to get to the sound first okay, do because the sound. it sounds amazing. Amazing. In fact, this reminds me so much of my Les Paul standard. And I, I wonder if it's the pickups. I don't know, but they're really thick. That's a full on thick Les Paul sound. Thick and creamy. Yes. Like I like what did my the, What did all milk. the things do? They, it, let's do them randomly. Because I, I. It's the feedback area. If I remember rightly. Um, that's a blow switch. Yeah, so this doesn't have the HP4 circuit that the standard has with all the dip switches and everything. This is, I think, what used to come on the standard a few years ago. So it's two, it's two coil taps, a blow switch, and a phase reverse. Yeah, so check this out, you can... Demonstration, Rob. That's what that's great. That's what uh, you, Rob's got the proper, you know, Les Paul setup, oh. which is no pedals other than his tuner and just a valve amplifier cranked to bejeebas. I'm using um, the absolutely stonking Rock of Verb Mark yeah, One, sounds good. Two, Three. They it's keep making them better. Here. Don't buy a Rock of Verb if you live in a flat and want a practice amplifier. Well, you can buy the Rock of Verb Three because well, this is a Gibson video, but. It's got an Italian way to build it. I know, it. but it doesn't sound any good at low volumes, does it? It's just got to be, it's the goodness comes with the... The juice. The juice. It's got a lot of orange juice. Um, <laughs> so this is a tribute. Mm -hmm. 
I like this. I think there's a certain charm about the fact that the neck has this one of these sort of very, very thin uh, coatings on it rather than the heavier lacquer. Uh, you kind of, you know, it's a little bit more understated looking. Again, we don't have any uh, wizardry going on down here. So you just, all you got to do is work out where you want the volumes and tones and which pickup you want. And I like it. Um, I kind of think the honey burst works well in this, although it does come in other colors. Uh, it's clean a beautiful sounds. lump of wood, isn't it? Yeah, clean sounds. Are but when you want it to, it's still got it. <laughs> Again, the neck feels a little thinner than something like the traditional. Same sort of width. Maybe something that's, uh, uh, that's maybe someone would find a, a little bit more comfortable. It's the lack of binding and lacquer. Yeah, it could it be. It makes a big difference. Just, just to makes it. That. Just yeah. so I guess maybe if you're just that that guy that kind of just go that girl that just goes, oh, the, the really chunkier necks put me off a little bit. This is a little bit more comfy. Got the vintage clues and machine heads, which look cute. I mean, it is um, the only Les Paul on the range without the binding. It is. It absolutely is. Hey, so you don't feel bound to... Uh... Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to this for a second and put okay. jam over Robert. I've got a studio. We're not gonna sing studio. Su Sorry. <laughs> for how many years have we been doing Gibson Rangers? At least 10. Let's not do that. <laughs> sounding one do you think it's the best sounding one i think it sounds that, amazing well, sometimes that just happens doesn't it there's one that just the the, the woods have got the you know the the correct fairies were but growing at the bottom of that tree it? It did you great. hear that when it Oh, it's the black sound. It's, it's a bit yeah, faster. It's once you've gone black, you never go back. Oh, I love that. Absolutely. I think it's really understated. <laughs> really, really cool. You can <laughs> take off this to make it better. It's great. And then it, it Other still colors. does. Oh, yeah, you still got Wait, things. It's only got you've two still got things. options. It's oh, got... you got half options. Half options. All right, let's just see what the. No, what would you have playing it a minute ago? It was uh, the intro theme to Anderton's back in... Oh, cool. Uh, 
I mean, actually, it's called Mantra of the Monkey Lord from my uh, early EP, available on my website, robchapman.tv. And we used it as the intro to uh, Anderton's TV. How'd oh, you that one was, that was yeah, Breath. Was, that was it, yeah. That was... one... Wait, it's... Uh, what have I done? Oh, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Great riff. Thank you. Um, so, what have we jammed? We've we'll jammed with the red one, the well, gold wait, one. I'd really, really. Oh, wait, there's one more. Uh, I, well, we haven't jammed with these two. I'd I, like to try I the blue one. one. I think I did. Because I haven't plugged in the blue one yet. I think I jammed with the red one, with oh! the, the standard, right at the beginning, didn't I? I think you're getting the view that basically what we've got here are multiple flavours of a Les Paul, but all fundamentally are Les Pauls. Some will appeal to people more on a budget, that like a more modest looking thing. Some will, will appeal to people that just want to go all out with all the bells and whistles and want something that's very standout. There's stuff in here for people that like traditional stuff in here where, I don't know. I think there's... You know what, one day I'm going to make a Chapman guitar and I'm going to include a tiny whistle and a tiny bell in a bag and put them in the guitar case <laughs> and we'll say it comes with comes bells, bells and whistles. And, whistles. and it idea. literally will come it's with bells great... and whistles. Time. one to play yeah I mean, it, sure. it got that kind of more Is at this point, it's color. a little bit removed from what you're familiar with as being a Les Paul. If Paul but... Smith did that guitar color, it'd be like one of the most popular colors they'd ever done. Be interesting to see how popular it you, is in Gibson. Why did you have to mention that brand? Well, because they can do colors like that, and people go, Oh, it's amazing. Whereas Gibson will just go, Well, they didn't do that in 1959, so it's not allowed. You mean when they were the most innovative guitar brand on earth <laughs> with random switching and a jazz shredder. Was it, what's the, uh, the Les Paul artist? Is that the one that was the real, like, balanced inputs and outputts and all, like, crazy? It's funny, name, name one other signature guitar that's become a standard. The gem. It's, it's not quite as standard as but, a Les Paul. But you know what, people that. will play a gem and everyone knows it's a Steve Vai guitar. Yeah. There are people that will play a Les Paul and have no idea oh, about think, Les Paul. I think lots of people just think Les Paul's like Stratocaster. They won't even or, know Mary Ford Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. They'd be like, she's she, foxy. She, she invented the card. And she, I bet she'd pay a, bake a pie. She probably so, could. Yeah. Mary great, Kay. Great vocalist. And, um, Mary Kay was great too. What was it? Mary Ford. What was it? What was it? Tina Ford. So, there we go. So look, congratulations, What's your Gibson. Um, I did like that gold classic. Yeah, me too. That was good. And it sort of reminds me of Pete's Les Paul, which makes me want it a bit more. My as well. favourite sounding um, one is the studio. Yeah. My favourite feeling one is that tradition. I actually think that that colour red I've not seen many red Les Pauls I think that looks amazing that looks a bit like one of the early Slash signatures where he had the snake pit thing like thing and it was that kind of colour it looked awesome I said tradition I meant standard no 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 it is tradition but you the know what standards over got... here I mean this is this is you know from a looks point of view this is, <coughs> I think this is what everybody dreams of owning once super heavy well, flame top cherry we haven't sunburst. played it 
I played it right at the beginning, but you haven't played it. Oh, I did I play it at the beginning? Oh, I don't think you did, Lee. I think I did. Crazy. It's funny. Lame name. Look, you played that one at the beginning. I played them all at the beginning. I'm going to jam you out what? on this. You're going to jam out on that. Okay. We've been uh, chatting the captain. You've been watching Anderson's TV and uh, 2019, baby. Oh, and apologies again that we couldn't include the double cut tribute today because we'd sold out. That's the most affordable one in the range. It's the one that actually doesn't really look like a, a regular Les Paul. Uh, so we'll do that another day in another video. And we'll do SGs and Vs and Explorers and Firebirds and any other crazy ass shape that Gibson make. If they make a guitar in the shape of an ass, I'm all in. Whoop. The standard and it's still the best. You like it's it? Oh, I love it, yeah. Check this out. Slippery fretboard, I'm not used to the slips. It's just like, it Thick. does, it's one of those rigs that does make you question why anybody has pedal boards and multi effects and you know, it's like loud, 100 watt valve amplifier, good sounding guitar, good guitar player. Sounds good. Thank it's you, like, Lee. Yes, I mean, it just sounds good. I've been Rob Chapman. I've been the captain and I've been saying for about the last 10 minutes that we'll jam out on this guitar. Okay. But, so we're doing well, it now. Bye.